Hi, my name is Valerie Kevorkian and I'm with Tarpoon Lagoon Dive Center, Miami Beach, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to tell you how to calculate the proper amount of weight for scuba diving. The proper amount of weight is important so that you're neither floating nor sinking and you want to remain mid-fluid while scuba diving. Generally, the proper amount of weight is calculated by 5% of your body weight. Depending on what type of tank you're using may fluctuate that weight just a little bit. If you're using an aluminum tank, um, you may use a little bit more. If you're using a steel tank, then you may want to use a little bit less weight. Also, what type of exposure suit you're wearing is going to influence the amount of weight that you wear. The thicker the wetsuit, the more weight you're going to be wearing. So this can be done by speaking to your professional dive center and they can help you calculate that weight depending on your diving needs. Our diver has his weight belt set up. Uh, after he's talked it over with um, his dive shop, decided what type of diving he's going to use, what type of tank and wetsuit he's going to be wearing, and he has positioned the weights on his weight belt so that they will be situated on either side of his hips, distributing the weight evenly. Putting on the weight belt is quite simple. You want to make sure that you're wearing your weight belt with a, with a right hand release so that your weight belt buckle is being held in your left hand. Being able to pull the weight belt with a quick release buckle is important. Again, using the right hand release. The weight belt is worn above the hips, comfortably situating the weights on either side of your hips so that the tank will lie in the center of the weights. Should you be needing more weights than our divers wearing, equally distribute them around your back. Again, this has been Valerie Kevorkian, and thank you for watching.